Welcome back, this is RB Sensei. If you like this video at any point, like and comment. It's the only way we'll grow. Now let's get into this ridiculous nonsense. If I've learned anything in the last year, it's that I will not launch a man on any social media until there's a ring involved. Like you will not know that I'm dating someone until there's a fat diamond on my hands. You get nothing. That ship has sailed. Why is that? It's because every guy she dates hits it and quits it within a month. So, you know, she's been burned before trying to post dudes the first week or two. Because it rarely, rarely, rarely ever make it past one month. That's really too long at that point. But why is that? Is it because she's so awesome and she has such great taste in men? Of course not. Quite the opposite, actually. I guess if you hold this standard up, you won't be posting anybody else on your social medias. So basically, he's too obsessed with you that he can't handle it. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah, like. And this is an example of women keeping women single. They just lie to each other. That's all they do. They keep each other in Delulu land. And the reason they keep each other in Delulu land is because they don't actually want them to succeed in the dating market. If the female friend is married or in a happy relationship, she want to be the only one married in a happy relationship in her friend group, because <laughs> she want to be the winner. She wants to be the one in the friend group that all the other girls envy. And if she is single, she's going to sabotage her girlfriends. So they won't be the one winning. <laughs> it's all real nasty work. It really is. Ladies, you want a long lasting relationship with a man you respect? Get rid of them damn so-called friends. You know who is like actually the worst guy to date? It's actually the mid guy. Because what happens is he begs you to date him. He, he tries so hard to pursue you. Beta! It's a sign of being a beta male. Beta! <laughs> oh, beta! <laughs> and that amount of effort, you're like, wow, he must really like me. And even though he's more mid than the guys I would normally be obsessed with and date, because he's treating me so well, I'm going to give him a chance. Before you continue, you look really stupid with whatever's on your face, but we'll skip past that. If you were getting the type of results you want from the guys you were truly attracted to, you wouldn't have to, you know, give this mid guy a chance. So here's the harsh reality that I know you don't want to face. The mid guy's too good for you. <laughs> but I know you got to flip the narrative for your TikTok friends. And you're total garbage. A lot of these women be like, I know my values. Values what? You're just like every other chick out here. I've seen a thousand of you. You're not really contributing anything with your woman-like abilities to anyone. You're selfish. You're entitled. You're sneaky. You're manipulative. What is your value? We already know how this story is going to end. Even the mid guy played me and cheated on me. Well, maybe that's because you're below mid. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. And this is where... It all goes south because that guy, whether he says it or not, he knows you are out of his league. <laughs> That's why he's love bombing you. He's doing all this stuff to win you over because he knows that's his only way to get you. The mid guy knows he has to put in extra effort than the Chad's and Tyrone's. But here's the thing that the mid guy and the Chad and Tyrone have in common. After they hit, they instantly lose interest. Ain't nothing funny about that. Because you don't have much to offer after that. Other than a crappy personality and, you know, the downside of being with a woman who shares her personal intimate details on TikTok. Women are so shallow and superficial. They're basing these tears off of looks alone. Like looks, height, money, stuff like that. They're not basing it on personality and character. You're hot, you're kind, you're funny, you're smart, you're loving, you're caring, you're sweet, you're amazing, okay? We could work on your choice in men, maybe? I think that'd be a really good idea, but other than that, mwah! More TikTok lies, they just don't quit. I won't quit until I'm, I'm physically stopped. Let's just hypothetically say a woman was all those things, but she just kept choosing the wrong type of guy. The emotional damage... The mental and emotional damage she's going to get from dealing with these wrong guys is going to deteriorate all those other wonderful qualities and characteristics. In a lot of ways, the type of men that a woman is into is really going to dictate a lot of her life. 
dating apps like Tinder and Bumble are having such a hard time attracting Gen Z users. It's because they don't work. I feel like this should actually just be really obvious. I don't know if other people remember when you had like a hundred right swipes every day on Tinder and you got one super like every day. And now you get zero super likes unless you pay for them. So then it's like if someone super likes you, that's like a little bit of a red flag because it means that they paid to super like you or like they have a premium account. And then if someone has a premium account, it's like, who are they a little desperate? But literally like the only way you can functionally use dating apps is if you have a premium account. If you're a woman on a date nap, you are the red flag. Yes, you are desperate. Even a woman as homely as she is has had plenty of offers since she was 15. A beautiful woman on a date nap is a bigger red flag. And if I had to pick a picture to put next to, you know, batch crazy in the dictionary, these crazy eyes would make the cut. Well, I don't know what I'm scared of, but I know that I'm scared. Uh, uh, I'm living my nightmare. It is a monster. It's in my head. And it's so obvious because in the ads for the premium like upgrades, it'll say like be seen faster, like get like four times more matches. And it's like, okay, so you're telling us that you are like suppressing our profiles unless we pay extra. Like our profiles won't be seen unless we get a premium account. What's the point? And we all know about Hinge and Rosedale where they take the people that they think would be most attractive to you and then show them as like a top standout or whatever and you can't just like them normally you have to give them a rose but you only get one rose every like a week or something it's enough to make it go crazy oh my gosh i don't even know what to say i can't take her anymore i just can't take it ma'am you're kind of dorky do you think you're too good for guys who are also dorky i think that's your issue and if you could write a 10 page paper on why you're failing on date naps, maybe you should just delete them for good. That's a great idea. Okay, so I said yes to the date. Um, so we're going to a rooftop bar. So this is the fit. The dress is from Zara. The shoes are really old and I don't remember. The bag is Zara. It's new. It's still in there now if you want it. Um, I know nobody knows anything about this man because it's very uh, last minute, but one thing was like, he just texted me and he was like, I'm gonna pick you up at nine, which I love. Um, so I will tell you more about him and I'll keep you updated as the date. Look, I like the outfit. It gave a traditional vibe, but I did peep the tattoo on her wrist. See, when they try to present like they're a 1950s sweetheart, you gotta watch for the small things. The nails are nice and feminine, not too long. I like the hair. I like the outfit. But the tattoo gave it away. Don't you ever write nobody off. And of course the TikTok page, but... The guy she's going on a date with might not know about that. Look, here's how you ask if she has a TikTok page. You ask in a way that would hint that you like TikTok. You know what I mean? And you're really into women who have TikTok pages. <laughs> that way you can get the information out of her. Oh. But yeah, wrist tattoos and TikTok accounts, instant deal breaker. I don't care how good she talking on that date. <laughs> He's still me off. <laughs> Before you shed a tear for her, remember, she would rather get stood up by 10 more chads than ever go on a date with a seven. Never forget that. She'd rather get stood up by nines and tens for the rest of her life than build a wholesome life with a seven. Keep those tear ducts dry, fellas. Keep those tear ducts dry. Thank you for being there, man. Charles. I swear, if I could go back in time and tell the woman that stood up for our right to work, I would. Who are you kidding, Toots? You don't have to work. You're attractive enough to find some fool to pay all your bills. But you're going to hold out for the six foot three, you know, movie star looking dude to come through and pay your bills. But it's never going to fucking happen. So keep working. Work your fingers to the fucking bone. <laughs> Look, you got options. Most men don't have options. They don't have that option. They got to work two and three jobs to stay afloat. But since you're so shallow and superficial, you would rather work than have a guy that you don't have the super, super, super hots for take care of you. Oh, well. Tough luck. He grabbed me by my waist, pulled me in close, and gave me a big kiss. And then we lived happily ever after. Me and my and grabbed my and and my I'm your
and daddy. Yeah, a lot of women are foul mouth degenerates and they have no problem telling all the intimate, dirty, nasty details of their bedroom fun life to all their female friends. Yo, th there is just so much wrong with this, man. So just be clear, all the nasty, freaky things you do with her in the bedroom, her friends are going to be giving you a weird side eye, you know, when you meet them for the first time. <laughs> Yep, and let's pay attention to the fact even a bear saw a man. Shut the f up in 2020. Oh, and was like, not dealing with that. It actually would have been a lot easier for me to just suck a dick and shut the f up. When women hate on men on TikTok, it get them clout, it get them clicks, it get them likes. But is it worth sabotaging your dating life for the rest of your life to get those clicks and likes? Bars. But then again, you were probably ruined in high school. It was probably over then, as far as you having a happy, healthy relationship with a man you respect. The best thing you can do for yourself as a woman is to stop centering your life and your expression and everything about you around men. The minute... I started decentering men in my life. I noticed, I learned so much about myself and who I actually was and how I actually wanted to express myself. And it's going to be such a game changer if you decenter men. What are you, retarded? So he, I know you're not retarded, but what are you, Down syndrome? Look, ma'am, just go, Les. I mean, seriously, by the time they start talking like this, They'll never get the type of man that they want and that they'll respect. I think women are the happiest when they're centering their lives around a man they truly love and having his babies and taking care of his babies and cooking for him, cleaning for him, and serving him in every way that she can. How dare you? But you've been going for those emotionally unavailable guys, and they've been <laughs> just doing you absolutely dirty since you were 15. So now you're bitter, you're mad, and you think all men are terrible. And you're going to focus on drawing little kid paintings on your wall. And you think that's going to give you fulfillment for the next 50 years. That's holding... stupid, guys. I didn't... Is this camera on me? Yeah. You get to say that about a woman. Why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves on the street.